Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to lesson four in image manipulation. We are working on the drawers photo. As you can see on screen, they are open, but as always, they're tabbed. First order of operations is to click window or view. Well, first get into Photoshop. View, window, arrange, tile all vertically. Now, what you can do is hit fit on screen. Get both photos to fit on screen and you will be able to work accordingly. Ladies and gentlemen, it is imperative to do so or you will not know what you're correcting to. If you're doing color corrections with a file open without your source, how do you know you matched it? Okay, for this exercise, we are going to use hue and saturation for our color adjustments. We might use a little bit of levels and curves, but the first thing I want you to notice is what is the anomaly here? Where did this pink drawer come from? I don't know. You could do this two ways. You could mask out the drawer and correct it back first, or you could do the overall background. That's the choice I'm going to make. Whoops. Let's go back in and I just messed everything up. You see how quickly you can do that. Tile all vertically. There we go. All right. I want to correct this photo. I am going to start with hue saturation. Please ignore the uh, announcements. Now, with hue saturation open, we can see that our color is not too bad. So let's cancel that. Let's go to levels first, because I'm really seeing a weight issue. It looks dead. It looks anemic. Let's get the buckets of color up. Look at the depth. Let's bring that depth up. Wow, dead on. Obviously, we had a depth issue. One change, I just increased shadow. So undo, look, dead. No depth, edit, redo, all we did. Now, we are gonna now have to fix this drawer. We're gonna have to make a mask. It's very much magenta, but I don't want stray colors from around the design. So I'm gonna first use the lasso tool and go around this drawer kind of tightly get a general mask. Now watch, I'll zoom in on it a little bit. Nothing real fancy, but guys, again, don't stress your eyes. Zoom in, select, color range. There is no shortcut as prior asked. Reset fuzziness to zero. Grab your initial eyedropper tool. Make sure quick mask selection preview is active. Click on that magenta, knowing it's the foreign color. Let's move it all the way over here so we can see both pictures. Didn't get much, guys. Now we're talking about colors that are a little trickier. So we're gonna get the plus tool. We're gonna slide over that magenta. And you can now see it starting to paint the mask. I'm clicking and I'm sliding. There are different levels of magenta here. So I want to click all of them. This is very sensitive. This is not like the hue saturation on the color deck. But if you notice, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna put it up top now. I have almost all that magenta selected. It's not easy to see in a quick mask, but now I'll just do a little slider. Look at your quick mask. Look for that weird foreign color to pop in. Oh, there it goes. Bring it back. Bring it back. Once you start to see that drawer, you know you're outside of the realm of reality. It's a seesaw. Click OK. Hide your ants. Command H. Now all we're going to do is Command U. I would hit view fit on screen and you can do that while your functions are open. Now, 
Look at the drawers. Look at your slider. We don't want to go greener. We want to go blue. Well, no, we do want to go greener. Sorry. We want to go greener. Go to the left. As you go to the left, you can see it go through every different color variation, and right there it starts to get really close, and I'm going to say okay. Now, wait a second. Anybody see something there they don't like? There's a magenta handle. I don't like that. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. I'm going to go back to my lasso and outline that drawer. Command H, select color range. I want that magenta color, that light magenta that was in the light. And that's why we didn't get it last time. I'm going to slide this up. I'm going to open this up. This is a light, light, light magenta tone. Look at your quick mask preview. You can see it's not going too far. That looks like enough to me. Command H, Command U, and let's slide that. And look at that, falls right into color. And let's leave it right about there. Click OK. Now, I could zoom in on this and say, wait a second, I still see magenta. I'll zoom in on the original. All that means is I didn't have enough picked. Go back to this photo, select. Command D, select color range, hit that pink, hit the plus, hit the slider, slide it up, click OK, hide, U, slide, and then we're blue again, mm -hmm. and not too bad, not too bad. Please note, the left and the right have variables. I'm not asking for any more than this. I'm not asking you to go in there with a fine tooth comb and fix every pixel. Look at this full size. Whoops. Window tile vertically. Look at the left and the right. They are pretty darn close, guys. Your drawers are all back to being green. The magenta's gone. If you can hit that, You've done a very nice job on your file. Do not forget again, file, save as, make sure it's a PDF. You're gonna click, not desktop, that's for me. You're gonna put it in your project folder. Save, PDF options, make sure they are on smallest file size. I don't want large files here. This isn't about image quality, this is about color correction. Save PDF, and there you go. Moving on to the next one. Thank you very much, guys.